metadata utility, bulk import process, child records. From the main switchboard, click on Enter View Information Switchboard, followed by clicking on Metadata Utility Switchboard, followed by clicking on Metadata Utility Batch Operations Switchboard, followed by clicking on Metadata Utility Bulk Switchboard, Once in the Metadata Utility Bulk Switchboard, click on Metadata Utility Bulk Import uh, Switchboard, which will bring us into the second option menu to click Metadata Utility Bulk Import Child Records. For this functionality to be able to be used, it is necessary to have the pre-formatted uh, Excel file which enables users to massively upload records without having to go through an online automatic search and uh, therefore in a bulk batch process be able to massively update records, upload records into metadata utility to further synchronize with their Windows Media Center movie library. If this file is uh, empty, a user will get a message uh, indicating that no records have been found. Alternatively, if the file is uh, damaged or is not the proper formatted file, they will get a message such as in this case, for this example, um, that in this particular case the file is uh, corrupt or a message that the file simply is not the properly formatted file. However, if the file is in the correct format and contains records, then Metadata Utility will process to import those files and show them in the Metadata Utility bulk import process tool for child records. In this particular example we will see the records that are available for upload and the user will be able to simply either click on the records that the user wish to upload to select them Alternatively, as we have in many other uh, maintenance tools for metadata utility, if the user uh, chooses to select all available records, then you can choose to click on the select label for the select column to proceed to select all records. And by the same functionality that we have in all the available tools, to unselect all selected records, the user can also click on the ID on the second column label to unselect all records. Alternatively, uh, a user is able to select records by searching by their title or record ID. And for that matter, it is possible to go into the search field enter either the title or the record ID that it is desired to be searched. Click on search and metadata utility will display the available record or records. If it's desired to once that we have searched in particular records and we have only those available records shown, it is always possible to search or uh, show all available records by clicking on the all records button at the bottom of the form uh, in, which is uh, at the corner bottom right corner as we see here marked and that will always bring back to showing all records once that we have the available records selected 
and we click on upload metadata utility will automatically process the first automation check which is to verify that no available duplicates are found if duplicate records are found then metadata utility will display a message indicating that duplicate record IDs have been found and in this particular example we're showing that master record IDs must be unique again we have a distinction in, in between master record and child records from which we have detailed other uh, videos that we have available as well as documentation online but for purposes of this video we will shortly describe that master records which were a part of a separate video must be unique and cannot be duplicated for this particular example of importing child records we have mentioned in the past that child records may contain duplicates and we have examples of uh, those situations especially um, would apply for movies not as, not as much for shows because shows normally will have and a particular show um, whether it's for, for example let's say the show Walking Dead season 25 episode 1 there's only one Walking Dead season 25 and, show, and episode 1 there's not going to be two of those um, but in movies we have the situation sometimes in which we have as we have described before the relationship between movie sets for example we buy a movie set say The Last Samurai and there are movie sets sometimes that they come first movie in the letterbox format second DVD in the portrait or uh, television the 4x3 format and sometimes there comes a third DVD with extras and that's where it comes the child master relationship in which we don't need to add the movie three times since the movie is only, only going to have one single ID for that particular movie and for that particular reason is that it is possible to create uh, child records in which we will have a master data which will have the same title for example last samurai but we will have a child record for the main DVD in letterbox format or 11 by 9 format for example um, and we will create a child record for the uh, television or a 4x3 format and a third DVD for uh, for the uh, extras or movie sets for example the alien movie set franchise in which sometimes there are box sets that there, it comes some box set with six even seven or more DVDs but the main relationship is that for every single entry whether it's a main record or a child record they should reside in their own directory in either the NAS or the partition whether it's an episode or whether it's a movie they should always have their own separate directory so for every directory we are creating either a master record or if we have a movie set in which we have master data which is going to be the same title same cast same information but we have different directories for each one of those DVDs we will create possibly child records that is a short definition for that again we have separate videos for that we dive in into details as to how to configure how to set them up that is what this section is importing child records they may have duplicates but we want to be here very careful because in bulk updates and bulk import and batch processes it could be possible that a user has inadvertently created many duplicates that were not intended to so this main message indicating that duplicate IDs are found it is designed to allow the user to after clicking OK show the amount of record IDs found and how many duplicates have been created 
And the idea would be, uh, ideally, um, we will be always be uploading one child and one master record together that will come that will create the one single record and in only those exceptions in which we have multiple dvds um, an example of a uh, show series but that they have ch multiple child records could be for example a dvd box set for example um home improvement season one um, has in some cases three four dvds and that's just one season and for this particular case then we would have season one one master record which has the same cast same information general information but we have five dvds that contain the entire first season and we have therefore in the nas five different directories for that particular case we will have five five child records linked to that single master id and same would repeat for season two and and so on so again there can be exemptions to this rule and therefore that's what we want with this tool be very careful because the user can choose to upload multiple duplicate child records now once that has been sorted out um, user can simply double click on a duplicate record from in this case we have 10 duplicate records and that will be shown in the main metadata utility import process child records tool and either deselect on or choose to leave those duplicate records the risk of having true duplicate records which means that we will have multiple records pointing to the same directory will be that in windows media media center we will create what is called ghosts or true duplicates meaning that sometimes we have users that open their windows media center library and let's see that let's say for example for purposes of this example that we have one movie on the entire library and that is a quiet place but we uploaded that movie 10 times we created 10 child records then when windows media center opens the user will see quiet place listed shown 10 times and on all 10 times when the user clicks on each one of those icons they actually end up opening the same movie so what we're trying to avoid is for a user to create this type of a scenario that's where this tool is designed for advanced users and not intended for users that are not extremely proficient and careful with their configuration therefore in this particular case assuming that the duplicates have been deselected or the user is aware that there are duplicates as in the example of uh, movie sets or um, shows that may have in within several DVDs one single season combined then we can choose to select the uh, appropriate records in this case we have selected the first 10 and when we click upload metadata utility will prompt again even though there are duplicates it will prompt to confirm that indeed we want to add the duplicates and if we choose to say yes then it will still show us a confirmation message we have here selected 10 records it will yet process again against metadata's main database and check whether any of those records already exists in the database in this particular case it's indicating that all 10 records are brand new meaning that they are not found and uh, th thirdly will indicate in the event that we have a partial some records found and some records don't it would show for example we selected 10 records available to upload five already existing five so that the user will have always a way to see how many records have i selected and that all records are being accounted for 
If we're satisfied with what we're seeing, we can click yes, and that will upload the records to Metadata Utility. And lastly, offer the option to go directly into the archived records queue to review the uploaded records. Or we can choose to select no and return to the bulk update import process to continue uploading records if that's what we want to. In this particular case, for this particular example, we have hundreds of records available for upload and we just chose to upload the first 10. Again, this is a very high overview um, level of this tremendously powerful functionality in metadata utility that as a secondary option we have the online option which is uh, able uh, for a normal user to just search for a movie or search for a particular um, a title that, that they want to add click and automatically add it into their metadata utility to synchronize with their Windows Media Center movie library. But for those advanced users that they want a complete granular control level of each one of their records, regardless whether they have them online or not, is that this tool is mainly designed. For additional details, and information on regard to this functionality or any other of the features that are built in in Windows Media Center um, that are manageable through metadata utility we welcome of our users to click on any of the available videos that we have available um, we have separate uh, available playlists to, and separate videos to choose from as well as to s searching our uh, website where we have uh, documented step-by-step -step information on the variety of functionality that we have built in in metadata utility that enables users to manage their Windows Media Center. We welcome those users to visit our website at metadatautility.com for more information. Thank you for watching.